slow, so solo. Uh, we just got done watching it with maybe like 15 people in the auditorium in IMAX. Not a lot of people in there. Um, I will say that this one actually, I had a lot, a lot of fun with it. Maybe it's because my anticipation for this movie was like really low. So I had more fun with it during this time. And I actually do like it more than Rogue One. So John Powell, the second composer to take over a live action Star Wars film after Michael Giacchino who did Rogue One. Man, he did How to Train Your Dragon Shrek, a lot of the DreamWorks stuff. I really loved his mixture and his style of music in this one, and the man was not afraid to get a little bit of John Williams in there. I know John Williams did do the score for Solo himself, a Han Solo theme, but man, there were definitely points in this where I was just giddy with the music that was chosen for certain scenes in this movie. I will say that there are a lot of things in this movie that I just don't care about. Like, there was just a lot of exposition that I just didn't really care for either. But there are a lot of stuff that I do like, so it's kind of like in the middle and it had a balance for me. Like, the stuff that I did really, really like, I was like in into it and like the action was action-packed. Action-packed Pee-wee. Yeah, for me, the exposition, in great Star Wars fashion, I suppose, is very spoon-fed to you in the beginning, but after you get through that, it's a little cringy eye rolling for me, uh, but after we got past that, it felt almost like a Han Solo, like the Han Solo comic series, almost like this was like five issues rolled into one movie, and each issue was like a 30 minute portion of the film. So, I mean, it does change and evolve as it goes. Uh, it feels like it's just kind of chapter one and their long solo, you know series so for me it just did did feel like okay well now we're moving on to this next step so that really wasn't that important but they do shed origin on a lot of things that um some i really found intriguing and and made me happy and then some others i thought were just too on the nose yeah like there were there is a specific part too that i was just like oh my god why did they put that in there that's so dumb we didn't need that exactly. much exposition no. that much origin and certain things in the world of so but i do i like the way that the care i do enjoy the characters and i like the actors who were playing the characters especially donald glover yeah. as lando yeah i loved his portrayal as a young lando for sure i I have to give it to Elden, and I'm gonna say his last name. Elden Ehrenreich? Yeah, I'm gonna, as Han Solo, um, I know he took what the ability of what um, Harrison, Harrison Ford, Ford did yeah. and like brought his own young, fresh version to it. And you, he did have a lot of mannerisms that you can see that is Han Solo, not necessarily um, Harrison Ford, because I think a lot of people were trying to be like, well, he's not Harrison Ford, because he's not playing Harrison Ford, right. he's playing Han Solo. Yeah. So he did have a lot of that, like, mannerisms as, as being Han Solo. And same with Donald Glover, there were aspects that came out of, like, oh, that's Billy D right there. But then it goes away, and it's it, he is just playing Lando Calrissian. And I like that you brought up mannerisms, because a lot of the references in this, because there's plenty of references in this movie leading to other portions of Star Wars, but some of them are just mannerisms emotion like body maneuvers that they do and you're like oh dang that's totally Star Wars right there yeah I could see it and it makes me happy when I do see it because they don't bash you over the head and just anybody watching this movie it's not a big deal but to you you're like I've seen that before and here it is again so it definitely added a little bit more fun depth to certain situation scenes and characters and then like we said there are some that maybe just we didn't really need but all in all I had a really enjoyable time watching this. Chewy, Chewy is so, so awesome good. in this. But movie. he's always good. Chewy's always good. Chewy's good. Episode. But it's and and you say that because like oh yeah well Chewy bashes people and he does what he does. No, like the the actor I don't even I haven't memorized his name yet. But the actor that has taken over for Chewbacca, there are moments where he's just sitting there and his eyes and that's something that i really loved about like the force awakens was like the last time that we got like that those chewy looks and you get them a plenty in this movie to where i'm like i love chewy look at it it's all in the eyes it is all in the eyes when it comes to chewy so i enjoyed this movie yes some of the characters are forgettable but like i said it's uh it's just kind of like the first step in a a, a series that maybe not a lot of people wanted but you know what after it was over I want to see more in this series. See, for me, like, uh, I didn't care for a solo movie at all. Like, I was just like, Han Solo is this character for, like, Harrison Ford. We don't need anything else right. for, like, that character and stuff. And I'm like, 
after watching this movie, I'm like, I still don't need it, but it's <laughs> yeah, fun. Yeah, I don't need it. It's fun. I don't get to see deep into the underground world of, you know, the different syndicates and all that. And we never got, you know, the video games that dove deep into that. So I'm interested and I want to see more of that. Uh, at the same time, uh, there are certain elements in this film that like cinematography elements that I'm so glad we were able to finally see. Ron Howard, the, the cinematic moments that they put in this where I'm just like, yeah, like that was badass. That was so cool to see. Uh, thank you for bringing that level of uh, intricacy into the shots because it's just something we never saw before. I'm glad we finally got to see like more of the Millennium Falcon, especially you see that in the trailer, just the controls themselves is more so. Definitely um, kudos to them for that. So for me, I would probably have to give it a uh, four out of five. I'm gonna give it a solid 3.5. Okay. No, actually, I'm gonna give it a solid three because there are a lot of things that I just, I didn't care for. And it kind of took me out of the movie until we got to good parts and it was like a big chunk of it. So I'll give it a three. All right, five. three for you and a 4.0 for me. So what did you guys think of Solo? Let us know in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, startup. All the social networking you can join. Tune over there. Kick in the party. Fill the party. Keep the party going. And our Patreon gets us where we need to go. We will be at the El Portal Theater in Los Angeles on June 2nd for the Schmodown Live event. Look for us there. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think tickets are probably sold out by now. But either way, thank you guys so much. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. And this party is over. <laughs>